The continuing evolution of the economy has many business leaders across Washington State reporting the urgent need for skilled workers to keep their businesses competitive. One in six adults in our state lacks the basic educational skills to succeed in the workplace and community. They are members of our community and often work two or three jobs to support their families. But when adults are in the position to learn, we need to provide them with the opportunities to earn livable wage jobs. I started the ABE program because I will like to improve myself and that is a very good step to go forward and the goal that what I want to accomplish. I started in the orchards so I went for a few months to Eastman High School but I got no money to afford you know my uh, my necessities so I had to quit the school so I was working in the orchard we know that they're frustrated. Um, life is, is it's a challenge and it's just working hard to get by. Often uh, my experience is and that it's a, there's a sense of trappedness and I don't have any choices and I don't have any control of my life. I mean, you're, you start to learn English, you know, you, you want to convey your message, whatever you think, and it's very hard to not be able to do that. So. But when someone has that desire and that dream to get what they want, you'll do whatever it, whatever it takes. If you want to have stable employment, you want to have a good living wage, you've got to start with the basic skills. You've got to have the reading, writing, and arithmetic down so that you can go to college to get the skills to get those good jobs. So it's so important right now that we get to be bilingual. So we get the positions we want, we make our dreams come true, but most importantly, we have the ability to communicate with everyone. In my experience, um, my students um, are apprehensive, but they're very interested in learning English. Um, we find that at first they're very focused on learning, improving their English skills, but over the course of even as short a time as a quarter, they begin to realize that they can expand what they are capable of doing and they too could go on and complete their GED or even ultimately go on to college. After I finished my AVE classes, uh, I finished my high school diploma equivalent, the GED, and after that I start uh, to take up different classes. So. Uh, I finished the prerequisites for the medical assistant program and then I get into the medical assistant program so I finish the medical assistant program as well. I have only six weeks in this program and I learn a lot so I can talk to my girls right now. I have three girls so I can talk to my friends and my little nephews and and I have more knowledge, more words to talk to them about this program and the good things and the bad things also because this is not only a, a good things all the time. When you pay the price to learn English and invest your time and just pay that price for that little amount of time, then you're thankful that you did it because you sacrificed something for something bigger and not only for you but for your family and in the end for some others because when someone gets to get better, everything that surrounds that person gets better as well. I'm a mom and papa at this house because we both in school and I have three girls. One is 11, the other one is eight and three years old. So I have to make sure they have a clean clothes and food ready and take, take them to school because I don't want to give a more word to my wife because she's really busy with this program and nursing program. So this is hard, but I think uh, when we get to the final, 
we're gonna be happy and get a better jobs. It's the is it's the basic, but you can improve yourself if you want to keep going. Never it's never late to continue studying and come to school and encourage yourself if if you have children that is a very good example for your your kids, your community, and yourself. It is projected that in the next 15 years, 60% of all new jobs will require between one and two years of post high school education, um, just to be able to get the entry level jobs. Over the next 25 years or so, as better educated individuals leave the workforce, they will be replaced by those who, on average, have lower levels of education and skills. Contributing to the empowerment of our community now is a worthwhile investment that produces long-lasting results.